Welcome. We all know that the Xperia 1 Mark II and the 5 Mark II can capture impressive cinematic 4K video using the Cinema Pro app. But it can be challenging to shoot in bright situations. A normal sunny day can be difficult to almost impossible to shoot properly exposed video. Luckily, there is an easy fix. And in this video, I'll show you what it is. The answer is a neutral density filter to limit the light hitting the sensor. This is a 37mm filter clip with the ND filter attached. There are many of these on the market and I'll link a few below. In general, look for one that has padding, like the rubber on this one, and also has a wide opening for the lens. I also recommend using a case, like this clear SpyGen one, for better grip when you put the clip on. Now for the filter, I prefer a fixed ND, like the ones that the Moment Company makes. The quality is good and the price is reasonable. And you can also reuse them across different phones. The filters come in various strengths, and in this case I'm using an ND8. You might want an ND32 for brighter conditions. Moment also makes a filter holder for their cases, but unfortunately there's no case for the Xperia's. Attaching the filter directly to a case would be the ideal setup here, like we can do with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Here's some footage I took on a cloudy day. Our subject here is too bright, and I'm using the minimum ISO of 64 with a 180 shutter angle. And this is on the main 24mm lens. In this case I could speed up the shutter speed, but I want to keep it at 180 for that cinematic motion. Keep in mind that if it was sunny, I might not be able to speed up the shutter speed enough and be stuck with overexposed footage. So now let's attach the ND filter. And here's how it looks. It's a bit too dim and our exposure meter confirms this at almost negative 2. But we can fix it easily by increasing the ISO slightly to 250. We can now see the exposure meter is at 0, which means we're good. Tweaking settings like this is part of the fun of manual video. It's constant puzzle solving. Look at this video now. It looks crisp. Now this is with the main 24mm lens. Let's try the telephoto. First we have to manually slide the filter over to the tele lens, which is in the middle on the Xperia 1 Mark II. And the same settings work well here, at ISO 250 and the 180 shutter angle. Looks properly exposed to me. For reference, here is the 70mm video without the ND filter. Quite bright. In summary, if you want to use Cinema Pro in bright conditions, you need an ND filter. Especially if you're going after the cinematic look with the 180 shutter angle. ND filters were also used on the Sony sponsored films and are probably the best accessory you can buy if you shoot video with your Xperia. I hope you found this helpful. If so, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you aren't part of our small community. Happy New Year, and I hope you have a great start to 2021. Thanks again for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.